Happy Saturday and welcome back to our podcast conversation entitled Seasons. And as we bring this week to a conclusion, we actually bring the entire series to a conclusion as today we talk about the season of change and discernment that often is presented to us or that perhaps we gravitate toward in a season of change. For those of you who are wondering if the podcast is going to continue, yes, we start a new series tomorrow. We'll get to get that at the end. But as we uh, wrap up this week on change, let's uh, talk a little bit today about discernment in a season of change. On one hand, for some of us might uh, look back on the seasons of change and what started the change was discernment. Perhaps we discerned well that the Lord was calling us into a new season a new job, a new city, a move, maybe something that unfolded with relationships, either to begin them or to end them. Sometimes the season of change can actually be facilitated by or initiated by good discernment. Of course, sometimes the seasons of change are the result of bad discernment or the lack of discernment. And because of our inability to really keep our, our, our pulse on where God's leading us, there is change in our life. I guess I just share that with you to help us understand the influence of either good or the absence of discernment that can begin a season of change. But when you're in a season of change, when, when things are changing around you and either you don't like that or you want to get out of that, we can be tempted to grasp at big solutions that would uh, promise in their allurement that things would get better if only we did this or only we did that. It's important to know that when we're in a season of change, many times, if we're not in communion with God, we can grasp at something to hold on to that would give us some stability in the midst of the change. And many of the discernments that we might be called into, you might say that sometimes the temptation to think that what we're doing is discernment, would actually be an attempt just to get out of the instability or the lack of feeling like we have something to hold on to. I want to remind us that sometimes that can actually be a distraction or a temptation rather than authentic discernment where we go before the Lord and ask him what he wants us to do. However, it is important for us to always ask ourselves, God, what are you asking of me to make time for that? And so just as I had shared with you a few other times in this podcast series, when you're in a season of change, it's important to hold on to the spiritual disciplines that are always an anchor when we need an anchor. Things like daily mass or things like a consistent prayer, things like a, you know, a weekly trip to the Adoration Chapel or a simple reflection back on the day, at the end of the day. You know, it's the little things, it's those spiritual exercises that oftentimes go a long way to help us stay anchored and rooted. And if we're doing those things, we're more able to hear God's nuances. And sometimes it's important for us to remember that discernment is not just about the big things in life. It can be about the little ordinary ways that we live our lives with God and led by God. Wherever you find yourself, especially if you're in a season of change, it's always important to have someone else that we're talking to about our spiritual life. And so I will conclude with this today. I wish everyone could have a spiritual director. We don't have enough of those to go around. However, I would encourage you to find someone in your life that you can at least bounce big decisions off of. Maybe it's a trusted companion, a friend, maybe your spouse. Um, someone who's walking the walk, you might say a disciple of the Lord, regardless of where they find themselves in, on the journey. But I would encourage you to find someone that before you make any big decision in life, you, you run it by them, not to get their approval, but to get their opinion and their insight. There's a distinct difference between asking people to approve the decisions we've already made versus asking people to sound off and to really tell us what they think about the decisions that we are tempted to make. Looking forward to being with you as uh, we start a new series tomorrow, Sunday, tomorrow, July the 7th. We are going to start a a new series, a little four to five week series on prayer, some of the basics on prayer. A lot of you have uh, chimed in on this series about the wanting help in praying, whatever season you're in. And as we either anticipate some things that are going to unfold for us in the fall, These next four to five weeks are going to be important for us as we learn how to pray. So come on back tomorrow as we introduce a new season, a new series, I'm sorry, on prayer. Enjoy the weekend. Hope you're having a great um, extended weekend. And until we see you tomorrow, God bless you.